Hello family, welcome back to yet another edition of this Apollo Tivasti Solutions video. It's always nice having you here. And uh, in this video, we're going to focus on this uh, laptop. That's a Lenovo T14 generation laptop. And we're going to focus more on um, the D assembly and upgrade options. D assembly and reassembly. So among us the tools that we are going to be using, we shall be using our Philips uh, screwdriver and also like this type and we shall have uh, our cutting blade which will act as our, our presser tool to enable us open it up. So starting right away, let's just begin by deassembling it. So uh, when you look at uh, the screws that are required or the screws that we need to pay attention mostly on. Uh, we have six screws at this uh, base. Well, we have this one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's start by unscrewing one by one. Unscrewing this one. Then unscrew this one. Unscrew this one. Unscrew this one. The fourth one. Unscrew the fifth one. Doing a chop chop and screw this other one, which is the last one. So, once we are done loosening all these other screws and ensuring that they are all loose and unscrewed, yeah, this is the moment where we get our blade to act as our pressure tool. So, we in between here, there is a connection. A joiner where the uh, the frame joins, so we just loosen it a bit. Enter the presser tool in and pull it up a bit, widen it up a bit, just to loosen those locks which are intact. So you 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 have to do this all round. Oops, you have to do this all round. Let's go to this other angle also. Also, so this helps us to get a point. Go to the next, then just move it round. Let's move it round, move it round, move it round. Oops. So this is uh, our cover, the back cover, which we've removed. And uh, here, just let me just put the cover aside. And here is our inner side of this laptop, the T4, the T14 uh, Generation 1 series. And uh, here we have the internal battery, which is uh, here. So in case we need to do an upgrade, it has uh, it has, uh, I think, six. It has one, two, three, four. It has four screws. It has four screws. So in case we need to do an upgrade, but before we do anything, remember, we have to first disconnect the power from the battery. So uh, this is its connection point, power connection point, which we need to disconnect. So we shall just pull, it, pull this connection off gently. And uh, that means it's con disconnected. This helps us to uh, get rid of any power running through the motherboard and other circuits. So in case we want to remove the battery, we just uh, focus on these four screws. Let's remove them right away. I'll do screw number one. Remove screw number two. Screw number three and then screw number four so I'll just flip the battery off gently and this is the battery this is how it looks uh, so I put that aside so focusing on the this is the fan and uh, it's, its connection point is right uh, in this corner 
So in case we want to remove the fan, we just first disconnect off the fan here from here and then also remove the processor. So we shall start by removing the processor. The processor, uh, sorry, the, the, the heat sink which covers the processor, uh, it, it has five screws that are holding it. We, we have the four at the processor angle um, just below the heat, uh, the heat sink. Then we have the one that holds the pipe, the pipe, the air pipe uh, holder, which is this one here, then the, the fan itself. So in case we want to remove, we can just remove by unscrewing this. Uh, screws. So we start by the second, the first, second one from this angle, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. So once we are done, we can first disconnect our fan there. So once we confirm that we are done, we just lift it up and this is the fan with its uh, sink, heat sink and the heat sink pipe all attached together. So we can uh, put the fan aside. In case we need to do a replacement of this, this is how we do it. We just will get rid of the old one and then fix it with the new one at any time. As I will show you in the reassemble process. So here is where we have uh, the memory chip slot. Uh, this is where it, it sits and that's the RAM. And here is where we have an external push uh, for the external card which is the wireless card. And here is our SSD drive which is a little slick. So in case we need to do a replacement of the drive storage drive we just remove it gently from this angle so remove it in case it's the one having problem and you want to replace it just uh, once you're done unscrewing that screw you just flip it and then pull it out gently pull the drive gently this is the drive our storage drive so we can put it aside also so this is the general motherboard and uh, we have the speakers right uh, the global speakers right here and uh, other connection points so this is our CMOS battery and uh, in case we want to replace it we can just uh, uh, remove it from here and do a replacement but it's, uh, it takes long to replace a CMOS battery most of them uh, take like between 5 to 10 years, 15 years, others can go even up to 20, 30 years, depending on the brand and model. So in case we need to upgrade these uh, parts, that is how we do it. So, we'll... so let's focus on putting back these uh, items. We start with uh, our storage drive. Uh, we'll put it back here fix it back into this uh, port then get our screwdriver with our screw and fix it back to its uh, port where it sits then uh, we focus on putting the, the fan or aeration uh, gadgets back where we have the fan and the heat sink into the slots so we put the fan back into its sitting angle or the sitting area. Then first screw back this point. Then go into the heat sink which covers the processor. Fix it back. And uh, this area, tighten these screws, 
tighten the screw here also. And confirming that they are tight, we can uh, connect connect the fan back. Connecting the fan back, we get our battery. Then fix it from this angle. Fix it back gently and slightly until it sits very well. Then we get the, our locking screws. Get the locking screws back. We start with that number one. Remember they are four. So we get the second one. Get the third one, the third screw. Fix it back here. Then the fourth one. So once we are done, we connect back the power, which is from the battery, connect it back to this angle. So once we are done, we get our cover and fix it back into its sitting position, ensuring that uh, it has fitted in very well. We we'll press. Press the cover and the frame. Press the cover, press it onto the frame. You have to check very well that it's pressed onto the frame. The cover is pressed back into the frame. Do this gently all around to ensure that it's fitted in very well so once we confirm that all angles are fitted in very well we then tighten our screws using our phillips screwdriver okay so we tighten this screw remember there are six screws we tighten the second screw we tighten the third screw here Tighten the third screw, then we go to the fourth screw, then we go to the fifth screw, which is at the extreme end here, then we go to the last sixth screw. So that is it for this video, that's how you can. That's how you can assemble and uh, work on some upgrade options for this uh, Lenovo T14 Generation 1 laptop. This is how sleek the laptop is. See you soon. Thank you so much. Have a blessed time. Catch you later.